Hi, my name's Nick Jeffries, and you're watching New Weekly, episode 23. We got an email late last night on a Sunday to say he's holding the project at the moment until they get some extra funds and uh, they give us a call back in a year. He's just offered us quite a few projects which we're going to be looking at, multiple developments in uh, three different locations so fingers crossed let's see if we can win at least one of them from camden who i saw last week she's popping in with her boyfriend and hopefully we're going to be signing them up for the duplex apartment refurbishment i'm outside north end road and uh as you can see this is quite a big project in a really challenging location. It's Monday morning and already I've had dramas. Coming down Putney Hill, a bloody car has gone right up the back of me. Obviously in the rangey, they're built like a tank. She was in like a Ford people carrier, whatever it was, I don't know what it was. It was crumpled up like that. The rangey has got a couple of pieces of damage on the rear bumper and one of the twin exhausts have been pushed in. So I'm literally on the way to the body shop, um, which the person who owns the car, which crashed into me, it's one of his buddies. And um, he owns a dog walking company and one of the employees was driving the car. I'm sure she was on her phone because as soon as I, I heard her, I looked and she had the phone in her hand. So, um, you know, I'm pretty peed off, but guess what? There's worse things happening in the world, isn't there? So um, let's just go along, see what this guy says. Maybe he can get a new bumper sprayed up, get a new exhaust thing sorted out so I don't have to wait around and maybe have to pop in sometime next week just to, to fix it. But uh, I should be there in about 15 minutes or so. So they're saying it's gonna be off the road for a week and it's gonna need a new back bumper and some tail pipes and even the which i didn't know the tailgate on these range rovers are bloody plastic because where, where the cars hit it's flexed there's a little minute hairline crack going along the back of the the sort of tailgate where the knob plate is bloody nightmare so I'm just heading back to the office now. We're in Wimbledon now, just doing a little shortcut through. And um, Will and Guy are already there. I said, look, this week we need to get them, even though the deal's done, we need to get a contract signed and booking fee paid. We need to get a terraced house in Fulham in a gated uh, development. Double, ex double side extension, full um, refurbishment. We've got all the numbers back from the QS. Uh, on Friday that needs to go over and also the project in Camden which is that duplex uh, ground and lower ground floor apartment for the young lady um, it's already been stripped out already been prepared we need to get the numbers back it's with the QS today and hopefully by the end of play we will have the numbers back and that can go over so we, we want to close three deals today we've had a little another well what can I say another disappointing email over the weekend from a client. So we've spent hours and hours with this client in Staines, uh, had a conference call on f Saturday morning with husband and wife, me, Guy and Will. The husband flew back to America. It was all agreed that we were gonna um, start the works, we were going to get the planning in and we knew what we were going to do on Saturday morning. Then we got an email late last night on a Sunday to say he's holding 
the project at the moment until they get some extra funds and um, it gives a call back in a year. Jesus Christ. Why can't people get all their ducks in the line first before they start on a journey with any contractor? Because you put so much time and effort into it. That's gone to a quantity surveyor to get priced, which costs money. We spent time doing two site visits and um, many, many hours on the phone. But this is construction. You never know what is gonna happen next. That's why you can't rely on one or two or three jobs in the pipeline, because you may lose two or three, that's why it's a numbers game. It's so important to get that pipeline deep and fat. So if you lose one, two or three, it doesn't matter because you've got three, four, five in the pipeline lined up. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're all right. I, I thought I'd drive by and say hello. Hello. That's very hello. good. That's very good. This, <laughs> this is a really good little camera because it, the angle, you can see the angle here. Yes. How much it can get in for such a small camera. Yes, yes, yes. So if you got yourself one of these, yes. it's Pro. a GoPro. So Pro it's a really. Plan. Pro, Pro so it's a really good angle. So you could you could like literally walk around the, uh, the showroom with this, yes. or that could go on a little stand like that. Yeah, it could stay like that, and it could still. That's it. And I can come around it. here like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And we've got everyone here. Look. Hi. How are you? What have you been doing? Everything okay. Good to see you. <laughs> I miss you. Did you go dancing at the weekend? Did you go tango? Yes, yes, Did yes, you? yes. Um, On Saturday? Last, last, no, 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 last night. Yeah. Last night, Sunday. Last night, yeah, because on Saturday uh, I am outside in London, yeah. uh, North London, and Turkish government, blah, blah, very, maybe 1,000 people. Wow. This is meeting. Busy, 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 busy. Yes, it's networking. So, so I, 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 you know what, I got, I've been thinking of all these little ideas to mm -hmm. make sales easier, mm -hmm. right? And I, at the moment, you don't, you haven't teamed up with a finance house, have you? Great, we, we should like a, like, like um, a fund, a bank, mm -hmm. a lender. Mm -hmm. Say if I walk in here and I want ten thousand pounds of furniture, mm -hmm. well, you need to be partnered up with a bank. Yeah. Right, or a finance yeah. house, so who, who, will, like who, who will I supply the finance? So for instance, if you go into like DFS, mm -hmm. right, and you buy a £10,000 sofa, you don't pay anything for a year. £10,000 sofa? Yeah, so, so, yeah. Let's say if we went to a shop and we bought £10,000, yeah. yeah. well you don't pay nothing for a year, and then that gets spread over five years, or yeah. three years, or two years. Tax it is at the tax it is at the same time. Tamam, you can do it. Ama şey diyor, Amazing. yani yine bankanın finansıyla yapılması gerekiyor. Biliyorum, yes. biliyorum. So, so, kredi kartına taksit yapıyorsun. Türkiye'de de var. Not, not credit card. Yeah. I mean, so you, we need to partner up with a company. I've already asked a few questions to people. Uh -huh. uh, and they... I know, I know. Bak müşteriye, müşteriye buradan malı satıyorsun. Yok yok, müşteriye malı satıyorsun. Kredi kartından çekiyor, banka sana taksit veriyor diyor. So for instance, when you go online, you, you, you need to have like obviously your furniture, the price is on there, 2,000, 2,000, well, 5,000 quid. And when you get to the end of it, how would you like to pay? One payment or finance agreement? So this is like on, the, on this company here. So you put, you can choose your deposit, yep. how much you how much you want to uh, pay over a certain time, and the amount per month. Yeah. He's on his way for the uh, one of our customers in Salon Square. Yeah. He's broken he's, so far. Uh, this, uh, lazy boy. It's a, not working. Yeah. He has I'm the meeting at one o'clock. Okay. Late. <laughs> Bana bir şey söylüyor Bana bir şey söylüyor Do you have anything for him? Like you, what? You ask. You do. Questions. Are you saying anything? Because he's just leaving now. No, no. You, you, you go. I only, I only drove by because I've, I've got a viewing in a big house at three p.m. And I thought I just. Which way you're going through? 
Um, it That's on Square's way. No, if you want to lift, I'll, dri I'll drive you to Sloan Square. Do you want to go? Sizi Sloan Square'e bırakabilir. Ben buna sordum. Yok, ben giderim otobüste ya. Zahmet etmesin. Ben giderim. If he's, he says, if it's yeah, not in his, good. if he's, if it's not on your way, he says. No, we go to Sloan Square and we can have a little chat on the way, can't we? Uh, okay. So that'd be quick anyway. And another, another thing. Yes. Um, Benim çantam so ben this, giderim. you have got to do this. Yeah. Right. So when you design this, is it done on on like a, a software? computer software because I emailed him uh, the software yeah, yeah actually we don't use software lately in Turkey because you know there are a loads of skeletons of the chairs yeah and then we just uh, using those skeletons in a different design yeah uh, purposes like one of the one of the chairs has like uh, covering the outside yeah. with the cotton the other one only the covering you, the they, they could be uh, they were they were limited edition aren't they 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 almost yeah. could be one of 50 yeah yeah one yeah. of 30 yeah 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 so each uh, uh, um, uh, uh, an nft mm -hmm. doesn't have to be digital it could be a digital photo we, we, or a three dimensional photo which yeah. will take a picture of it and it's a token so for each say for this chair here that's in the showroom yeah. there and that is a lovely certificate hanging here with a lovely tag yeah. and that's the nft so every time it gets sold right brett's has a percentage so if it, if it if this year it gets sold from the shop four years time it goes on to someone else every time someone buys it but obviously they own the nft don't they so they yeah. can and the, Brett's own the actual copyright of the original chair. Yeah. So it works really well, and there's companies already doing it. Okay, which companies? Um, so there is a. So this sofa here, uh -huh. uh, you can read all this. Mm -hmm. So they, this company, it's just a very outrageous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They it was linked to an NFT, right? Okay. So they're already some people are already started to doing it. Yeah, yeah. And that that NF that this sofa went for hundreds of thousands of pounds but okay. i'll leave these with you okay. and then you can have That's a look good. so it's just all these little ideas yeah for the financing side i'll let you know for the because the uh, previous director closed the uh, the barclay account now we're just working with the um yeah uh you digital want, business bank yeah you want to you don't want they you, don't you do wanna, any finance you don't now. have to you want an independent third party mm -hmm. right like a company there's loads of them out there who would say yeah you team up with us yeah. right and we will there'd be a form when the client comes in they fill out the form you email it to the finance house yeah. they go approved ten thousand pounds you get paid from the finance company yeah. they take the furniture nothing to do with you okay cool it's third party yeah i will have a look at it but but still, he wants to work with the high street banking, so that's why we're just waiting yeah. his residency permit when when we receive the uh, card. Because high street Barclays, NatWest, HSBC, they don't do this. Mm -hmm. It's it's done by an in a third party independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some, don't, some kind of company know, called Klarna. I know. Yeah, so that's what because yeah, as you say, Klarna with clothes, Klarna, you yeah. can buy three payments. You've got instead of paying three hundred pounds, you pay three payments of three hundred. Yeah, actually, when the website is finished, they will add the Klarna into it as well. Yeah, see, Klarna is only short period. Yeah, right. You want you want a proper one like um, you know over like four or five years, years yeah. and it's naught percent or low percentage. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, okay, <laughs> left. No, 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 no. You sure? Is it still no, 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 please. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't bother me. No. No, don't bother it. No. <laughs> Why not? Because it's a Czech 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 sizin e, Mervan'dan o yüksek çözünürlüklü imajları onlara göndermesini isteyeceğim. Ne, ne, next next plan, next picture. Next step. Yeah, so you've seen, you've seen the pictures of the sofas in the window, Today. the chairs in my, my office what they bought down. Uh -huh. it looks good then. Looks yeah. very nice. Yeah. So what we want we want some sort of mirrors, don't we? In the office. Mail atacağız ona. Uh, ofise aynı istiyoruz dedi. Tamam, okay, okay. Maybe tomorrow I tomorrow can, can bring no one yeah. mirror as well. Today yeah. a little bit busy. Yeah. Tomorrow busy. I'll come, I'll, we're going to have a coffee. This week, coffee. definitely, he will bring one mirror. Yeah, so we, what we want, we want one either side of the TV, don't we? Television, two, two mirrors, right? Two mirrors, one either side. Yes, yes, yes don't worry. Yeah. Maybe uh, next time, the door is very nice. Yeah. 
Anyone wants to buy? I guess it's good for a start a blocking camera for the first oh, very good, yeah. it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, very good, very good, very good camera. Yeah, because it's a power zoom as well, so it's yeah. really, really good and a good quality of yeah. Canon always good. Even yeah. the smallest Canon good. Exactly. You know, so, um... She said she could come across that she's on the website. Um, I can't remember what she's got planning already. No, she's not got planning, she's, she's not got any drawings, no planning, um, but she's just interested to see what the process is. Why do they repeat all the questions? What do you mean? Like, they say, they, this has been repeated to me about 12 times, the same thing, if I don't tick it. Maybe they're just making sure I'm correct. Well, Carrying out electrical installations, working on live or existing installations, maybe. Sucking and sewing, creating rubbish, drilling or chasing balls, working at Occupy the Home or Workplace, kneeling for point. Done. I guess we're gonna go. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just a little bit that way, that's where um that's where the Soho house is at the top of there. You know I hate the camera in your face. Stop it. Fancy making us come here. It's a bit of a little 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 bit of a Acoustics, fans, everything else. But we're heating it and using it as a radiator. Keep us dark as six. Um, um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is. A bunch of stuff that we wanted to do from the uh, thing, but we began to kind of just map out how we could. So, just finished the meeting with Alastair. 
and uh, that went really well. He loves Sips, loves Andrew, loves Will, obviously he loves me, but um, yeah, he's just offered us quite a few projects which we're gonna be looking at, multiple developments in uh, three different locations. So fingers crossed, let's see if we can win at least one of them. Just heading back to the car through Westfields in the pouring rain. See you back at the office. outside there it's raining sand no I go and have a look at the car no, no, no. There's some, I just, just google why why is the sky red and why is the rain orange because when you get on the car the car is covered in orange sand <laughs> Thursday morning, sun is out, not one cloud in the sky. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday, the sky was orange and there was sand all over the place. This car here is absolutely filthy. God knows how the boys are gonna wash this one off because they could not get this sand off without using that spray foam. So it just like drops off. So this weekend it's gonna go in for a nice full valet and maybe a little wax and polish. So I'm just in the rangey heading over to North End Road, which we're building the penthouse on top of the airspace. Now, North End Road is a busy high street. We've got scaffolding going up as we speak. Yesterday, the boys weren't on site because it was raining and it was very dangerous and obviously there was a problem yesterday because the Sahara was dumping all the sand on the UK and a um, bit of a nightmare, wasn't it? So yeah, just heading over there. I'll show you what's gone on so far. Uh, we're still waiting on the party wall agreements to get signed off, but the scaffolding is up. And I think at the moment they're just doing the tin roof. So let's go and have a look. So I'm outside North End Road and uh, as you can see this is quite a big project in a really challenging location. Other news, on Friday, we've got the client coming in from Camden, who I saw last week. She's popping in with her boyfriend, and hopefully we're gonna be signing them up for the duplex apartment 
refurbishment with a ground floor extension. She liked the numbers, she's serious, she's coming in, so hopefully we can sign on the dotted line tomorrow. Also, on Friday, we booked in a Zoom call with the clients from Chigwell. We are slowly progressing, but it's really painful because the site they brought is a big site. They thought the new build house was gonna be 10,000 square foot. In fact, it's more like 14,000 square foot. So the bill cost has gone up quite some amount. We're gonna to talk to them tomorrow. We're gonna to speak to them about SIPs construction, structured insulated panels, because the process is a little bit quicker you don't really save much on the construction, but it's just the speed. So prelims would be lower uh, because of the project management time. Um, so fingers crossed on that one. Um, other news, we've had a few new inquiries coming in this week. It's been a bit slow, um, but they've been coming in. The projects are getting bigger, in better areas, just what we want. A lot of work going on in Maple Cottage, as you can see. Um, mezzanine floor going in, rafters in place, um, internal line of the walls going in, slid work. Um, you can't really see much because it's obviously dark inside, so I'm not going to go in there too much and, and show you it. But um, we're making great progress here. Um, I'll be back down here next Thursday, uh, get the building control down, get it all signed off. Um, but we're working really hard at the moment on this one and it's going in the right direction. So, and it's nice to see the sun out considering the orange rain we had yesterday in London. Um, and the sun and the, the Cotswolds. And Cheltenham's just up the road so I might just go and nip up there and put a bet on the horses. So I did yesterday the course world as well. Mm -hmm. Or course world project. Maybe it's in one line it would be good this one, right? I think maybe it's in one line. Like that. Yeah. Once. Once. And Tre Bus House. In the correct place. Will they all be yeah, check. So, so just the they just they gotta be yeah, just you can go go through each and every supplier and to see if he is in the right uh, group. Fantastic. Right, have a good weekend mate. Get that out there. Okay? Cheers. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. And I need the dog. Who's that in Sanders hand? That, that's a sand. So bloody dramas, isn't it? Oh, bloody part of all again, isn't it? Because with the steel's going on the outer wall, yeah. um, it, it's an optical illusion and it actually touches the flat next door. So we've got to get a part of the wall there, so you're talking too much. No way. But I said to him, listen, don't, don't, um, why, are you, why are you talking to them? Now we're playing the game with them. The part of the walls that you've got involved, who's the one that does all the work in that building, Yeah. tell them, can we speak to the, the can we do some, uh, remedial works, can we do some cosmetic works while we're waiting for this to, to we get on the structural work? I thought he wanted the steels to fit not in the party wall but on. There's nothing there, no stability on, on here. I mean, it's about that, but I won't it. So he, he basically, there's nothing here because originally the steel was going to sit straight there, right. Uh, and now we've, we've taken this away and it's going across oh, here. Yeah. So that wall there, believe it or not, it doesn't look like that. There's a flat mm. that must run off there. So that's classed as a part of the wall. Let's see how I'm right here, look. <laughs>
This is my daughter. This is my really? This is my little girl. Whoa! <laughs> I am not my name. That people think we look the same. Very my, similar. Uh, my my daughter, uh, thirty-nine years old. First daughter, second daughter, thirty-one. Uh, another. I have a son, eighteen years old. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, am, I am grandfather. Uh, How are you? You good? Okay. We're going to put the dog. Who is the fairest of the mall? It's like the it's like a naval rope, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. I love you, I love you so much. Good. What else have you been have you been busy today? What have you been doing? Very busy. Yeah. Hi Sultan, how are you? Hi Sultan. So what I've done, I've added more information about Brett to the website. Wow. I'll show you in a minute. I'll get I'll give them. Bye 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 bye. No, can, can, can I show you? No, 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 no. Where are you I, going? I don't have enough time. Where are you going? Uh, first I am going to uh small step. Yeah. Hello, my friends. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where are you going? I am dancing. Yeah, she's a, he's a professional dancer as well. We're throwing it away, we're, we're getting rid of that. Yeah, we're getting rid of it. Um, where are you going? Oh, you're in there, over there. I like the style, it's really, this is you. Yeah, I'm telling you, very good. You know, I should get one of those, really good. I'm going to get a photo. Yes, please. What's your name? Jemima. Jemima. Jemima, come. Oh, this is not iPhone. I'm looking for the phone. Looking for a photo. <laughs> okay, there is it. Okay. You did like. Uh... I'm so sorry. It's so alright. Yeah. Yeah. I like your style and character. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, very good person. After, uh, very good businessman and good friend. So maybe together, partner. Perfect. That's what we definitely. We have fun as well. I, fun. I, I hope it's good. Me too. Me too. So look, I put the interior design yes. page. Your image. I put a, a, a um. I, I have, I have, oh, ah, oh, this bread. Yeah, all yours, this oh. is all yours. Wow, yes, yes, yes. So it's lovely images. Yes. Lovely high yes, resolution yes. images. Look, furniture and joinery by Brett's. All right, so that's got scrolls all along here. Wow. Yeah, beautiful images. First, first bread. I went to video. you. Yeah, so wow. we can we can scroll, wow. people can scroll. Wow, 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 wow. Very wow. Be beautiful, wow. high resolution images. Wow. And then, all Brett's projects. All Brett's, so down here. Fur wow. Furniture and that by Brett's here. Collaborating with Brett's and an image here. Wow, I love it, I love yeah. it. So on your, when you get your new website, you need to have, you have one page on there about design and build yeah so when people go to your website they know you do the whole package 
depends where because my house and uh, maybe studio and design office yeah is very nice building beautiful building beautiful building N nice area amazing area this is point hundred person ah <sighs> so me and will have been on the road for three hours we went to galesford road in camden to walk around the flat with the client the interior designer and the architect it was quite time consuming because the traffic was a nightmare they originally came here this morning at 12 p.m to talk through the numbers but there was a few changes we needed to have a look at to value engineer the project because the build cost was slightly too high so we thought you know what let's jump to it let's go in the car get him in the rangey and head over to camden to have a look and walk around to see if we can find a solution to bring the bill cost down so that's that before that me and will jumps on a call with the owners from chigwell to discuss the bill cost again because originally we priced the cost based on a 10,000 square foot house after a measured survey and the quantity surveyor bringing the numbers back is now jumped up to 16,000 square feet so a massive jump and the client wants to find a way to bring the cost down so we're trying our best uh, hopefully we're going to get a groundworks team over there next week because one of the biggest parts of the project is the basement so we need to find a way to get that price down even if the client goes direct with the basement company the groundworks team who cares because we want to do the structure in sips and the fit out uh what else what else we got um estimates which have gone back this week claridge court fulham gone back waiting for the client uh bernard avenue acton waiting for the client and the architect to get back to us. And um, I think we've quoted for about three projects this week. So at the end of the day, it's quite good. Um, Maple Cottage going well. Will went over there this week. Test drove the smart car, that's going fine. And um, apart from that, it's a sunny day still. I can't wait for the weekend. I'm actually taken out for a test drive on Saturday, tomorrow, the new Porsche Taycan it's like a state version of it so I can't wait to see that one how, how the performance is but thanks for watching another episode don't forget to subscribe share and like and uh, we'll see you all next week